What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the New York Knicks versus Chicago Bulls NBA matchup going down Sunday, August 14th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one. Between the New York Knicks and the Chicago Bulls, the New York Knicks coming in with a record of 49 and 32 on the year, while the Chicago Bulls at 39 and 42. You know, the Bulls locked into the nine seed. They will host the Atlanta Hawks in their last matchup, or excuse me, in their next matchup, pardon me. Um, while the uh, the New York Knicks still have a lot to play for here. I mean, the Knicks could end up as low as the four seed, could end up with as high as the two seed if they were to win and, uh, you know, the Milwaukee Bucks were to lose. And, um, you know, for me, it just looks like the Milwaukee Bucks are kind of punting it the rest of the way. Just trying to make sure that they get into the playoffs as healthy as possible. And, um, you know, I got to say that, you know, it's um, it looks it's looking good for the New York Knicks. I mean, you know, they've won four in a row. They've picked up some quality wins as of late. They beat the Milwaukee Bucks, even though the Bucks were slightly banged up there. Um, you know, they even though, you know, they did have, uh, did have Damian Lillard and Giannis in the game. And Giannis had a great game, so did Damian Lillard. But, you know, I still think they were a little bit hampered in that game. And, um... You know, also the Knicks taking out Chicago in the first, or excuse me, the most recent meeting. Um, then they beat Boston, you know, in that weird game that had all those injury manipulations and stuff like that. And then last time out, I had the Knicks at home against the Brooklyn Nets because the, the New York Knicks, for the better part of the season, their MO has been that they beat up on the bad teams and, you know, are more competitive against the good teams. And I thought that, you know, a, uh, a Brooklyn Nets team that really had nothing to play for at that point and had been eliminated from the playoffs for some time. Wouldn't really show up, and, and it would sort of fit the profile of the team that's not so good that the, the Knicks had beat up on. But I tell you, the Knicks only won that game by four, even though they were up late by uh, near the cover margin in that game. And you know, we're seeing a hefty line here. I've seen it float around sixteen, as high as sixteen, as low as fourteen and a half. So it's sort of all over the place. But either way, it's the Knicks as a heavy favorite here, and I don't know if I'm buying that. I mean, I get it. The Knicks are are, are going to win this game. The Chicago Bulls. You know, or sorry, I shouldn't say they're going to win this game. They should win this game fairly comfortably. Um, and the Bulls, you know, their their main concern should just be getting into the uh, the play-in tournament as healthy as possible. I've already seen Andre Drummond ruled out. <clears throat> I haven't seen DeMar DeRozan pop up on any injury list, but again, wouldn't surprise me if he's sad either. But the thing for me in this game is 16 points is just a lot for a New York Knicks team that, you know, just showed against the, uh, the Brooklyn Nets that for them, it's just win by any means necessary. They're not concerned about style points, not concerned about blowing teams away. And um, I just think the Chicago Bulls, you know, who have taken some games off, I don't say, you know, sh they have been punting games like the Milwaukee Bucks, but they've been, you know, taking a little bit easier down the stretch ever since they figured out this was probably the matchup they were going to have against Atlanta. Um, but there's still pieces there that can compete. And like I said, I think this is just a case of too many points with the New York, laying, laying too many points with the New York Knicks here. So give me the Chicago Bulls and the 16 points in this one, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. And smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.